Are you looking for a free alternative for remote desktop software like TeamViewer and AnyDesk with all of the pro features, including the ability to self-host? Stick around. There are plenty of free remote desktop applications out there, but they lack some key features that are deal breakers for me, like unattended access. This is the ability to remotely access another computer without someone needing to be at that other computer to give you access. I should be able to just access that remote computer with the password. This is particularly useful for providing support to family members or clients. Not to mention if I have a PC that's in another room in my house and I wanna access it, I shouldn't have to go in there and be present to allow access to my other computer. And a lot of the free services don't allow that. I also need some basic communication features within the application, like a text chat function or even a voice chat function. This allows users to communicate with each other while remotely connected. And how about some basic display options like support for multiple displays? A lot of people today, including myself, when we work, we use multiple monitors. In addition to the multiple monitors, we should have good screen resolutions that mimic the remote device and don't negatively impact the user experience. When I'm remotely accessing a computer, I want it to be just like I'm at that computer. And of course, it needs to be cross-platform compatible. I personally use Windows, Linux, and Android, so I need remote software I can use across all of the platforms. And how about the ability to self-host on my server, on my terms. That's an option even a lot of the paid services don't offer. You have to use and trust their servers. But these features are standard and free in today's video focus. We're talking about RustDesk. RustDesk is a free and open source remote desktop software that provides a secure and efficient way to access and control computers remotely. It serves as a powerful alternative to proprietary remote desktop solutions like TeamViewer and AnyDesk, offering flexibility, security, and self-hosting options. Key features include free and open source, no costly subscriptions. RustDesk is completely free and open source, allowing for transparency and customization. Cross-platform support, Available on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS, making it versatile for remote access across different devices. Self-hosting capabilities. Users can host their own RustDesk server for complete control over data privacy and security. Unattended access. RustDesk can be installed as a service, which allows for unattended access to a remote computer. This is particularly useful for providing support to family members or clients and can be password protected. Easy setup and usage. No installation required for clients, just download and run the application. File transfer support. Seamlessly transfer files between connected devices. RustDesk is an excellent choice for users seeking a secure, free, and private remote desktop solution without the monthly subscriptions of paid services. Now RustDesk is completely free and open source. There are some paid options on their website geared towards corporate support if that's something your organization is interested in, but you can use it completely free. Okay, let's go grab RustDesk. We'll set it up on two computers and we'll make a remote connection, run through some of the settings. But before that, do me a favor. If you're finding value in this video, like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Now, let's go get RustDesk. Okay, let's hop on over to Google and type in RustDesk. From the main RustDesk page, we're going to go to download. Then we're going to come down here. Make sure you select your operating system. I'm going to come here for the Windows and I'm going to use the executable file. That's going to download right here. I'm going to click on that, let it run. I'm going to come right here and click install. Let's close this browser out of the way. I'm going to let it create both a start menu shortcut and a desktop icon. You can choose not to do that. I'm going to accept and install. 
I'm going to click yes to the user account control. And here we have Rustus. That simple. But now we need a computer to connect to, right? So in the left hand corner here, you're going to notice behind this blur is a unique ID that would allow access to this computer along with a one time password. And you can certainly use it that way. But again, I like unattended access. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to starting from general. I like my dark theme, default language, system sound. You can cycle through those. Those are more for personal. Let's go to security. This one's important because the first thing you need to do here is unlock your security settings. Otherwise, all of this stuff is grayed out and you can't make any changes to it. So I'm going to do unlock security settings. I'm going to allow user control. I'm going to leave all of these selected. I'm also going to select this one. This way I can make changes to the remote configuration. And I want to use a permanent password. So I'm going to create a password. Now for me personally, I'm only going to be accessing this other computer remotely. Nobody else will, so that's why I'm setting up a permanent password so I can access it unattended. Okay, and you can see down here, I am ready for a connection. I've got my ID, I've got a permanent password set. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other computer. So we'll jump over to that one. Okay, now we are back on my main computer. I have gone through the same setup process. I have set up the same settings and a user password as we did for the first application. So now we just need that ID from the first computer. We're gonna put that ID in the box here. Then we're gonna click connect. It's gonna prompt us for that password that we created on the first computer. And now I am in control of computer number one couple of things we want to do here. Let's take a look at some of the actions we can take. We can send clipboard keystrokes. We can transfer files and this is an important one. Let's go over that one in a minute. We can insert control alt delete to the remote computer to kill applications and processes. We can also restart the remote device from here. We can switch sides and refresh. Let's jump up here. We have monitor settings for our image quality, codecs, resolutions. Unfortunately, I do not have dual monitor set up on this one, so I can't show the dual monitor support. Keyboard layout, communication preferences. This one is good if you're working with a family member or client. You can start a text chat with them. You can even start a voice call with them. You can record the session which can come in handy, especially if you use this to show someone how to perform an action or even a software tutorial. But let's go back here under file transfer. This is extremely useful in itself as you can transfer files back and forth between the host and remote computers. That is super useful on its own got my local computer on this side, which is the computer that I'm on. And then I've got the remote computer on this side, which is the one that I'm controlling. I can transfer files in between the two. Okay, let's take a look at another setting here real quick that I want to point out. Under security, you can enable direct IP access. This will allow you to access remote devices on your home network, even if there's no internet connection. You can connect directly to your remote computer through the IP address. You also have the ability to use IP whitelisting, ensuring that only approved IP addresses can connect. Quick disclaimer, the security settings that I selected were for my personal situation. Only I will be accessing both the remote and host computers in this situation. Choose your security settings according to your specific situation, especially if the remote computer does not belong to you, you certainly don't want a random person having the ability to reverse and remote control your computer. And there you have it, a free and open source remote desktop application with all of the pro features. Drop me a comment below 
on your thoughts of Rusk Desk, if this is something that you would utilize. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton. Check out this other video suggestion. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time.